We've been stood still on a campsite in Sardinia for the last two months. We have been stationary since the 13th of March. It's the longest time we have ever spent in one place on this trip so far. So how has this unexpected travel pause affected our spending and budget? Let's open our little black book and tot up how much camp lockdown has cost us. So our total campsite bill came to 793 euros 60 and that's for the two months that we spent here. Due to our prolonged stay we were given quite a hefty discount of 35% by the campsite manager which certainly helped which made the daily cost around the 12 euro mark so over the span of a month we spent 396 euros and 80 cents. Previously to this our monthly average campsite bill only came to 57.74 so we've been spending quite a lot more than we ever have done before. Prices include Wi-Fi at the reception, electric hookup, water and showers. So next up is food and we spent a grand total of 596 euros and 39 cents. That spread over the eight weeks and it felt like a lot. Yeah, at the time it definitely, definitely did. We weren't spending any money on diesel or going out for food or anything like that, but we've worked it out and it's not too dissimilar to our average monthly food cost anyway. And obviously, during these times food is quite a comforting vice and it certainly was for us so we had a few nice little bits a few little treats and obviously we had a weekly barbecue so we we're buying quite nice meat for that which obviously adds up we've been doing plenty more van life recipes and flora on food videos which you'll find at our blog the link will be in the description box down below and yeah you know what we like for food but it's not too bad a cost i suppose up next is gas we have spent 64 euros 30 over the last two months but that isn't a too dissimilar figure than our previous monthly averages. And we've made quite a big change actually. We will be able to recoup some of that money as we invested in a different gas bottle whilst we're here in Sardinia. We paid 40 euros for the bottle and once we return it before we leave the island, we'll get about 32 euros back. And the really big bonus of having this different bottle is that it's much, much cheaper to refill than your standard camping gas. Yeah, only 8.50 a go, which is great. We've also purchased a couple of emergency stove cartridges too. Yeah, the little cans. So we've done quite well. And because we're probably going to be in Sardinia for a little while longer, we will definitely have another refill or two of the gas. So we will make our money back in the long run, really. Yeah, it's a far better way of doing it. But you know this by now if you've been watching our channel. Yeah, don't go for camping gas for a long excursion. Over the course of our long two month stay, we got quite accustomed to trying out some of the local liquid produce. And at under two euros a bottle, who can blame us? In total, we spent 52 euros on wine, which isn't quite as bad as we feared it may be. Now we're on to laundry. At the reduced price of three euros per wash, we have taken full advantage of the facility. We now have a full and clean wardrobe. We've done four loads of washing and we've been blessed with bright sunshine to dry it all. So it's only cost us 12 euros in total. Happy campers. Now for a couple of miscellaneous bits and pieces, we've got two euros on a couple of birthday postcards. And we spent five euros on a new pair of flip-flops for myself. Unfortunately, my old ones made their way into the paws of Ziggy and they were never seen again. Destroyed. So being on lockdown means that we spent nothing on diesel. We still have half a tank. And obviously we can't go out for food. We can't go sightseeing. We can't go out for coffee. Can't do tourist attractions. We've saved. But not really. So the figure you've all been waiting for, the grand total spend for our two months in lockdown is €1,525.29. Which works out to a monthly cost of 7624 which means we're under budget. Yeah! Woo. But also means that this lockdown situation has cost us a very similar amount to what it would cost to be out there adventuring. That is slightly frustrating, but as we've said many times, we're paying for the safety, the security, the facilities. Yes, I would have preferred to be on the outside, seeing places and having a good time, but there's nothing we could do. So over the next couple of months, we're gonna to have to tighten our belt somewhat. And what better way than a quarantine haircut? Long-term viewers of the channel may remember when Meg cut my hair back in the Netherlands and she made a really, really bad job of it. 
However, I believe in giving people second chances and what could go wrong, eh? <laughs> and let's have a look at the finished article. Not bad, not bad. Let's have a smile from you, sir, at Maggie's Barber Shop. Do you like it actually? It's alright, it needs a wash, but uh, it's not the worst job. I've done alright. So, over the next couple of months, we're going to have to tighten our belts somewhat. I'll speak like human this time. <laughs> Three to one. Long term viewers of the channel may remember that I let Meg cut my hair. <laughs> me. Three, two, one. Three, two, last one. Three, two, one. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> We've also added. We've also. We've also. We've also purchased a couple of the emergency stove refillable. Being on lockdown means that we spent nothing on fuel. We still have half a tank of diesel. I'm still talking, <laughs> you naughty boy. 